Um, so, uh, hi, Walter. Um, hi, Martin. How are you? Um, oh, that's fine, thanks. thanks. Walter Lorenzetti, uh, he's a WebGIS application server client developer, Django Python expertise. Main developer of C3 uh, uh, W Suite, uh, and go ahead. Uh, feel free to start when you're ready. Okay. Let me share my screen. Uh, yes, and enter the screen. Okay. 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 Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, um, hi everybody. My name is uh, Walter Lorenzetti. I'm a founding member and the CEO of uh, GSTW, an Italy, Italian company. And uh, in this presentation, I talk about uh, the GTW Suite framework. The framework is uh, an application dedicated to publication and management of a QJS project as WebJS services. About the history of GTW Suite, we can say that the idea uh, behind the project is based on the needs of, a of our customers who needs an uh, easy to use tool for publishing and management web GI services in a structured way. Mm, but above all, there was the request to uh, develop dedicated modules that could be um, managed in terms of access and, and use in a profiled way. So the, the objective uh, were using QGS pro, uh, project as a basis for defining the context of a WebGIS service, organizing the WebGIS services uh, in uh, hierarchically organized containers, being able to define a policy for access and management uh, of individual services, and finally, the possibility to activate specific modules and editing function at individual service level. The results uh, of this work uh, is an application uh, um, available in uh, open source mode under Mozilla Pubble license, uh, available on a page uh, GitHub repository with several uh, repositories. Uh, gs3wsuite.it is the main site, instead uh, github.com slash gtws suite is uh, the main page of uh, github. Um, GTW suite is a modular client uh, server application made by of two components, gtw admin, the administration component, and the gtw client, the cartographic client for consultation interaction with uh, OGC services. Uh, we developed other models, other plugin models. Uh, many are not free because are for our customers, but uh, some, some are free instead. For example, front-end geographical portal, a simple classic geographical portal for searching and accessing WebGI services. In this slide, you can see at the, the technological stack under the application. First of all, at the base of the schema, you can find the Postgres Postgres DB that is used to store um, suite data and geographical data. Um, clearly, geodata can be also on the file system. In general, you can use with GTW suite thanks to integration with QGIS server Python API, every uh, geodata and data format that uh, uh, QGIS server can read, get the normal read. GTW admin is uh, at the, in the middle of the schema is the core model deployed with Django and uh, Python, and it allows the management of users and project, and its function is as a um, as is a, an APRest server for communication with the client. Thanks to QGI service API, GTW admin work as uh, itself as a uh, OGC services server. And finally, at the top of the schema, you can see the GTW client that is developed in JavaScript uh, with open layer under the um, reactive technology made by uh, Vue.js. 
uh, in this uh, in this slide, you can see the main library that uh, uh, to the last uh, stable version of GTW Suite uh, is used inside the GTW admin, the GTW client. And uh, now, um, instead, in this slide, you can see uh, what is the standard workflow of use of GTW Suite. Uh, a user can build its uh, uh, QGIS, QGIS project inside uh, your desktop and upload it inside the GTW admin. After the upload is done, the user can set the HCL and other uh, action through the GTW admin graphic user interfaces by guy of GTW admin. Once the GTW admin uh, upload the, uh, the QGIS project, store data about the project into the B data about the project, project layer, et cetera. After this first part, uh, the uh, WebGIS services is, is, uh, is ready. So you can start the GTW client for to watch at the services. And uh, the digital GTW client, uh, first of all, on Bootstrap uh, calls the init API uh, that come from GTW admin API REST services, uh, uh, which uh, sends project data stored and uh, other extra information get by QG, get by QGIS API. After this first booster time, uh, the service can, uh, the WebGIS services can work as a normal WebGIS services. So the uh, GTW client can work with uh, OWS services and uh, usually the user can uh, navigate on main map, uh, make uh, interaction with map, uh, get information, etc. Uh, now, I will show you more in detail uh, the features of the main components of the application. GTW admin is, the, is a cartographic interface for dynamic parameters for GTW client uh, API REST configuration, as we said before. Through this component, the system administrator is completely independent in the publication management of all aspects of web GI services. The admin panel, all of you too, Create cartographic groups and macro groups. Create user and user groups and assign them role with different power. At the moment, inside GTW admin, GTW suite, we have the main three role of user, admin, editor, and viewer. Clearly, mm, publish QGIS projects, manage, uh, manage published WebGIS services, and activate specific functional models and assign them to individual web services or individual user. Um, clearly, when you uploaded, uh, or when a user upload the, uploads the, the project inside GTW admin, the, the WebGIS service inherit the several future from QGIS project. For example, the title for, the title for of project, uh, settings uh, for about queryable and searchable on the layer, on every layer of the project. Uh, automatic transaction group, uh, service capabilities uh, used as WebGIS metadata, and uh, the, uh, WMS capabilities, uh, and also every capabilities that a standard QGIS servers can, uh, um, can do, uh, WMTS, WFS, and WCS. Uh, uh, therefore, mm, clearly, the system, other than the uh, project uh, uh, capabilities, uh, the system inherits uh, for uh, every layer one to one and one to n relation info, for example, attribute form structure, editing widget associated with the fields, with the default value, uh, mandatory fields, etc. So, um, can inherit many uh, future about uh, layer and project. Uh, uh, on uh, uh, about the project or QGIS project. Um, once the QGIS project is published, for each layer, is possible to uh, create, for example, search tools for every layer, or, or manage cache layer, or uh, all of the loading shape formats. Hmm? But not only in shape formats. In this, on these days, you can see that it's possible to 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 set up download for uh, as uh, for layer as uh, JPG, JPG formats or uh, as uh, XLS or CVC. Um, 
After that, we can enable and disable WMS legend, for example, and add in uh, or um, activate or deactivate, enable or enable uh, editing uh, online. And, uh, finally, we can speci specify geographical and or uh, uh, alphanumeric constraints for each user or group of user for viewing or in editing state. Clearly, the results of uh, all of these settings are visible in the cartographic client. Cartographic client is uh, based on a modular approach and it allows to have an interface that adapts to the management of the currently available modules, in example, uh, printing, search, editing, etc., and the future ones. In fact, it allows to uh, clearly browse uh, um, the main map, use a different type of, uh, of interrogation, change WebGIS services, maintaining a station in scale, display simple metadata derived from general capabilities of the project and of the layers, print maps with using layout composer defined in your or in, in your QGIS project by QGIS desktop, use the search tools created in the GTW admin, consult attribute data to a form structured as in the QGIS project, consult multimedia links and display image preview, and at the end, consult one-to-one and one-to-n relation data. As you can see in this slide, uh, I don't say it before, uh, we have a strong integration with the data plotting plugin, Q QGIS plugin. So uh, the, 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 the chart that you build inside your QGIS desk, desk you can see inside the web, web GIS services. Um, the heading permission can be defined at the level of a single layer inside the single web GIS. The model support uh, multi-user editing to a future log system applied on the future visible in the canvas when the edit starts. Uh, as, for the, as for geometry editing, it's possible to edit points, line, and polygons, create, move vertex, update, and delay the future, enable interlayer snap, intra and interlayer snap, set the geographical constraints based on other layers or constraints by uh, alphanumeric uh, mm, parameters um, and it can be um, changed according to individual user. Uh, as for the attributes data editing, it's possible to use attributes, uh, use attribute form structure defined in your QGIS project use editing widget associated to the single fields, editing the attributes data, uh, data connected by one-to-one, one-to-n relation between layer. Uh, now, uh, this is, uh, uh, now I, uh, this is, uh, in this slide you can see um, some case studies. Uh, at the moment, GTW Suite is used by uh, from small uh, uh, company or uh, small uh, uh, public uh, services to the big uh, entities. Hmm? But uh, uh, what awaits us from the future for uh, GTW Suite? Uh, next week, uh, we release the version 3.3. Uh, At the moment, uh, the stable version is uh, 3.2. And uh, with the, uh, the next week, uh, the new future in the, the release are, uh, we, are we are extended the um, granular permission and uh, of the, uh, the editing uh, in, with uh, version 3.3 or now is possible uh, uh, set up uh, uh, very granular permission about the editing for the user. For example, you can uh, you can enable one user to only create or only update the geometry or attribute only the late. Uh, and it's, it's possible and uh, it's possible to define it in, uh, for every user or group that uh, has uh, editing capabilities about the layer. Uh, another feature is uh, implementation of user-based filters. So you can, in, uh, with this, this feature, 
with inside the uh, version 3.3, .3, uh, you can now um, filter the data uh, about the user or filter future in the layer, also uh, attribute table. We have uh, had the uh, themes management or views that you can define it in the, in the QCH project. And we have extended the search tools of GTW Suite on relational data, on one tool and relational data. So now it's possible to build, um, to build a search uh, um, tool and a search entity from the uh, child to the father in a relational one to n. Uh, now it's possible to use uh, QGS expressions, the default values uh, inside the adding capabilities for uh, fields uh, in the attribute. And this is, and uh, every of these future come mm, next week. Uh, on, mm, we, on February uh, 2022, we release 3.4, and in this version, we want to, uh, we want to add uh, this future, for example, animating time series data with raster and vector, and uh, give uh, um, uh, get a, a, a more deep integration of the data plot plugin. For example, uh, extended integration between charts uh, views uh, uh, on the WebGIS services and layer on the map, and add the time values variation graph based on uh, uh, net CDF roster data. Come on. Uh, we, we are thinking also about uh, a next uh, uh, version uh, for um, that uh, I think uh, it will be born, it will born, uh, be born in the uh, next uh, day, I think. And uh, in this uh, in this release, uh, we think about uh, a major degree, major migration of, for example, Django and Python. Uh, at the moment, uh, uh, GTW Suite use uh, uh, last LTS uh, LTS uh, mm, version of Django do dot to do two dot to do, and uh, we want to migrate to version three dot two, the, the the actual LTS. We want to migrate to open layer version 6.7, I think. And in general, we want to update many libraries that uh, and frameworks that we are using for GTWC. For example, admin LTA, uh, LTA, um, GeoJS, etc. But uh, finally, and is not less important, is a code refactoring for to improve, in particular, for to improve the. Um, uh, for to improve the um, the, the, the capabilities uh, and the, the the power of GTW Suite uh, in term in term of timing, for example. Uh, I don't know. I think it was very speedy, but uh, thanks uh, to all uh, for your attention. And uh, thanks for for SOG for for SOG, um, Argentina for the uh, organization. Thank you so much, uh, Walter. Uh, it's been really interesting uh, for all uh, for all of us. Uh, we have few questions here, and we have a lot of interaction with the hands and love it. <laughs> Here, and we show you the. I think that you answer that. Uh, when will the new features be incorporated? Approximately, I think that you answer that. Yeah, yeah. I think so. I, I don't know. I think but, but that uh, the the person wrote uh, before you show. You that. show the the next one. Yeah. So. Uh, here we have another one. In editing mode, can G3W check the oh, yeah. geometry? Uh, okay. Example okay. overlap or? Yeah, at the moment, uh, no. At the moment, the topographic uh, um, capabilities uh, GTW Suite uh, in, into the GTW Suite is not possible. Um, but uh, I, we, we think to introduce uh, heat. Uh, I don't know when, but uh, we want to introduce. Okay, um, and that's 
that's all the the questions and um, only it, uh, to show again i want to know where uh, someone in the chat ask uh, where uh, on the question sorry uh, ask uh, where can i can someone contact you uh, i think on the last slide you show that yeah can you show again to there is a Okay, we can, you can contact us uh, to by uh, gtwsuite.com.it, uh, 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 that is the main site of the project. In, okay. On this site, you can find uh, every contact, and if you want to, to, to do other questions, you, uh, you can send us. Yes, uh, and you will stay here at Benules too, if someone wants to contact you. Yeah. Uh, you will stay there to to ask questions. So thank you so much, uh, Walter. Uh, thank you, Martin. And we will uh, return shortly for the next presentation, OK? OK. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.